हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू गिट एंड गिट हब पार्ट वन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन ऑन गिट एंड गिट हब गिट इज़ अ वर्जन कंट्रोल सिस्टम बट वाई वर्जन कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज रिक्वायर्ड हैव यू एवर मेड अ चेंज टू कोड रियलाइज इट वॉज अ मिस्टेक एंड वॉन्टेड टू रिवर्ट बैक और लॉस्ट कोड एंड डींट हैव अ बैकअप ऑफ द कोड और had to maintain multiple versions of the product or wanted to see the difference between two or more versions of your code or wanted to prove that a particular change in a code broke the application or fixed an application or wanted to review the history of some code or wanted to submit a change to someone else's code or wanted to share your code or let other people work on your code or wanted to see how much work is being done where and when and also by whom or wanted to experiment with a new feature without interfering the working code in all these cases a version control system will make your life easier there are two types of version control system centralized version control system and distributed version control system the examples of centralized version control system are cvs svn etc and the examples of distributed version control system are git mercurial etc this diagram represents centralized version control system where there is a central server which has the remote repository and these are the workstations which are accessing the repository so every time every workstation has to be connected to this server the drawback of centralized version control system is single point failure if the server fails for an hour then no one can collaborate at all for the particular hour this diagram represents distributed version control system this is the server where there is a remote repository and these are the local repositories and these are the working copies of every workstation so when you push the changes from local repository to remote repository you have to use git push command to pull the changes from remote repository to local repository you have to use git pull command to commit the changes from working directory to your local repository you have to use commits so when you commit all the changes are committed to the local repositories and you have to be online you have to be connected to this remote repository when you want to push the changes to the remote repository or when you want to pull the changes from the remote repository to the local repository to use git we have to download and install it so you can directly search on google you will get this link download and install git from the link to use github you have to sign in to github.com git and github these are two different things this is the working of git where we have the working directory we can add the files to the staging area by using git add command then all the files in the staging area are ready to be committed and you can use commit to commit all the changes to the local repository then you can push the changes to remote repository from local repository you can pull the changes from remote repository to the local repository we'll see all these basic commands in this video first you need to create a repository either you can create it from scratch by using git init command git init then specify the repository name or you can create a repository on github and you can clone it so the command is git clone then specify the url first you need to configure your username and mail id so to set the name which will be attached to your commits and tags you have to use this command git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name specify the username here 
and to set the email address that will be attached to your commits and tags you have to use the command git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email then specify your mail id now to make changes you can stage the files which are ready to be committed by using the command git add to add a particular file you have to specify the file name and to stage all the changed files you can use git add dot or you can use git add hyphen hyphen all or you can use git add hyphen a to commit all the staged files to version history you can use commit command git commit hyphen m and then specify the commit message for synchronizing the repositories we have to use push and pull commands so to push local branch to remote repository it will set its copy as an upstream so the command is git push hyphen u remote branch to update your current local working branch with all new commits from corresponding remote branch you have to use git pull remote now pause the video and find the answer which command should be used to initialize a new git repository git bash git install git init git start the answer is option c git init now let us perform all these operations on git and github here i have logged in to github these are all the repositories which i have created to create a new repository click on new then give the repository name here i will give the name as demo for video you can either select public or private i will keep it as public repository then i want to add a readme file to my repository i will create a repository now this repository is created with readme file to clone this repository to my local repository i can use this https url click on code then copy this url go to git cmd or git bash now i have to use the command git clone and i have to paste the url this is cloning the repository and it has cloned it we can see the repository this is the repository which is cloned from github it has the readme file if i want to add any file i will add a text file i will add a.txt to add this file a.txt to the staging area i have to use git add a.txt now you can check the status by using command git status new file a.txt is added to the staging area now if i want to commit then i have to use the command git commit hyphen m and the message i will give the message as first commit as we have not set the username and email id the message is shown so i have to use git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name and specify the username to specify the email id you have to use user dot email and you have to specify the email id now you can commit now after this commit you can see the message this is first commit one file changed you can check the log by using the command git log here you will find all the details like who is the author what is the date 
डेट एंड टाइम ऑफ दिस कमेट टू चेक वन लाइन लॉग यू कैन यूज गेट लॉग हाइफन हाइफन वन लाइन दिस विल शो द वन लाइन लॉग दिस इज द फर्स्ट कमेट एंड यू आर ऑन द मेन ब्रांच हेड इज पॉइंटिंग टू मेन ब्रांच फर्स्ट कमेट now to push all the changes to the remote repository we have to use git push command but before using git push command let us check whether the changes are reflected on the remote repository as i have added a.txt i will refresh it there is no file a.txt in the remote repository but when you use git push command the file will be added to the remote repository to push the changes from local repository to the remote repository we have to use command git push hyphen u origin main here we have to do the authentication now let us refresh the repository now you can see the file a.txt if i add a new file to the remote repository i will add b.txt and i will commit the changes now this file exists in the remote repository i want to bring this to the local repository i have to use git pull command i will use git pull this has added b.txt to my local repository here you can see the file b.txt in this video we have seen various operations like adding the files to the staging area committing these changes to push the changes from local repository to the remote repository and pull the changes from remote repository to the local repository thank you